Go, Vinny. Got what you wanted. You got it? Yep. Aha. Let that old cock suffer until we off him tonight. Are you in? Got some other shit to do before then. I'll meet you there. All right. Meet us later. Don't take too long. Okay. I think we have evidence now of a crime. Let's go talk to Lars, captain of the guard. See if we can backstab Vinny. Maybe get paid for it. Good day, traveler. Do you need something? Skulls are planning on killing Neil. What? We'll see about that. I'll send some men over to ambush them when they try it. You gonna be there? Sure thing. Especially if you want to pay me. All I want to do is get out of the way. I don't want anyone to shoot me. Oh, I need to open the door. That's what I need to do. These guys in. Okay, let's see if I can try to help out a bit. Go for it, Neil. Get him. Get him. Neil's going to kill him. Yeah. Go for it, Neil. Good one. We got 300 experience for taking a risky turn against the skulls. Now I get to keep their gear. He killed the waitress coat, though. That's very sad. Talk to Neil. See what he has to say. Welcome to the scum pit. I've got your back. Thank you. You can't know what that means to me. You'll never pay for a drink again in this bar. Nice. What happened to that trophy you used to have there? Sam Slime stole it. It wasn't a trophy, it was an urn. It contained my wife's ashes. Besides this bar, it was the most important thing in my life. Well, I guess don't lose the bar. Oh, at least I got a free drink out of it. Let's head down to Killian Dark Water Store. We'll wait for it to open. Yes. I'll keep going. I really didn't find any information about wire chip here. But I'm guessing I have to go down to the hub to figure most of that out. Hey, we gained 500 experience points for assisting elimination of the skulls. Nice. Okay, let's get the hell out of Dodge. Down to the hub. It should be southwest, I believe. Or direct south. The hub trading co. So apparently we have the entrance, the heights, old town, downtown, water merchants. To the south, you see a large city outlaying farms around the town. There is much life in this desert oasis. Oh, I'm guessing we follow the road down south. Pick out this house at least. Remember, most people don't have anything for you to do here. Oh, maybe I should put away my weapon. Welcome to my humble house. What can I do for you? What can you tell me about the hub? It is a sprawling city, the largest I've seen in my life. The center of the town lies to the south, but the other areas branching off in each direction from there. Where can I find supplies? I get everything that I need from Mitch down by the Maltese Falcon. Just head south from here. If I was looking for a job, where would be a good place to start? I occasionally do a stint on one of the caravans that head out from here. If you're looking for that kind of work, just talk to one of the trading houses. 
I'm partial to the Fargo traders, but I've worked with all of them. Can I ask you something else? What do you do around here? I get by. I hire on with the caravans when I'm a little short on cash and work for the farmers down south for a bit. Hey, thanks for the info, man. Take a look in his house, see if there's something I can loot. I'll call the police. Oh, sorry, buddy. Didn't know. Didn't even have anything. Keep going. Hey, General Store. The store's open? Put away my weapon, make sure they don't call the cops. I might help you today. I'd like to buy something. Great, here's what I have. What do I want to sell? You have a lot of money, don't you? Should. Oh, he has books. He has a thousand caps. Okay, what can I buy? Let's buy all the books. Need all the skills we can get. There's loads of stim packs too, that's nice. Radio. Found a way, flamethrower. Oh, I've got everything I want from him. Stim packs, books, and I've sold my rifle. Look further along. This is Iguana Bob's. Anything interesting happening in the hub? Well, the only new thing that the children of the cathedral has taken over the hospital. It's pretty boring around here lately. Yeah, fine. I'll talk to you tomorrow about your relationship with the Doc Morbid. With Doc Morbid. Hey guys, is this open? Run by Beth. She's good for guns, but better for gossip. Oh, okay, so it's too late to talk to Beth. Yes, let's just stand on the street and we'll read the books. Wait for time to pass. Hey, it's daytime. I'll wait to read the other books. It's good to pass time with them. How about now? Is this open? Hey, Beth, I'm back. Hi there, how can I help you? How does someone make money around here? Well, I'm not hiring, but there's a job post in the center of the merchant market. You may want to check there. Okay, thanks. Anything else you can tell me? Is there any place in town I should avoid? Oh, yes. You want to stay as far away from the Maltese Falcon as you possibly can. Decker and his greasy lapdog cane are bad news. Don't eat you alive if you were not careful. I'd also give Lorenzo at the Trendy Lending Company a wide berth. Good to know. I ask you some questions. What can you tell me about the different merchants? Well, there are three main merchant groups. There's the Water Merchants, the Crimson Caravan, and the Fargo Traders. They also run the City Council. What do you want to know about them? Tell me about the water merchants. They're in charge of all the water, greedy people. I wouldn't want to work for them. They pay the worst and the jobs are just as bad. Did they always control the water tower? Control all the water? No. From what I've heard a while back, a group of merchants seized control of the water tower and the place went and proclaimed but they were the water merchants, and people had to get water from them. The merchants wore rage for years until a man named Roy Green, yeah, Justin's grandfather, that's it, helped to negotiate an agreement that ended the war. What kind of agreement? Well, he set up 
the council and set a limit on the price of water. Personally, I think they should have beat the tar out of them. Oh, sorry. I mean, they should have showed them who's boss. Thanks. Another question about the merchants. Oh, yeah, the Crimson Caravan. The Crimson Caravan, a bunch of crazy people. They will do any job no matter what to risk. I'm surprised they aren't missing more caravans than they are. They're missing caravans too. Actually, all the merchants have had a few caravans disappear. The Fargo traders are just unlucky, I suppose. How risky is the Crimson Caravan job? They will pass right through an area known to be attacked by raiders. They charge a lot so they can hire extra hands. The pay is great, but you'll have to be alive to spend it, right? The Fargo traders are missing caravans too? Okay, can you tell me about the Fargo traders? The Fargo traders pay well and the jobs aren't too deadly. Butch owns this shop. A good man. They're fair and let me do as I please with the place. I like working with them. Plus, you get a discount on anything you buy here if you work for Butch. Cool. Thanks for all that info. I'm going to go over and talk to Butch then. She says you get a trade if you work for them. Maybe I can get a job and instantly get better trade deals with her. Hello, my friend. Hello, and welcome to the Fargo Traders. How may we help you? I'm not sure if I want to ask that. I'm looking for work. You're looking for work, are you? You look all right. Well, you should probably talk to Butch. He's through the door behind me. Maybe I should just talk to Butch about the water concerns. What do you want? I need to ask you a few questions. Time is money, chit chat is not money. You hear about the job or what? Yeah, I'm here about the job. Hot damn, someone with guts. Done and done. Go talk with my second, Rutger, and get the details. Wait, I have a question about the job <sighs> first. Don't spoil it. Make them quick. How much does it pay? Uh, Rutger will handle that. Uh, he does all the trivial stuff for the Fargo traders. Now get on out, because I got work to do. Okay, thanks. Hey, you. Are you Rutger? The job pays 500 hub bucks. So caps, I guess? when you can tell Butch exactly what has been happening to all the caravans that have been disappearing recently. So collect any proof you might find. I personally think it's those damn water merchants or those gun freaks at the Brotherhood of Steel. Butch thinks some claw of death or something, or something like that. Check with Beth. She would know more about that. Where's Beth? That's right. Out the door and to the right. She runs our weapons shop. Tell her you're working for us. You'll get a 15% discount. Hey, thanks for that. I guess let's go talk to Beth. Hopefully my discount applies before I complete the quest. Hello, it's nice to see you again. What can I do for you today? I want to ask you... Can I ask you some questions? What's the word on the street about the missing caravans? Some people think the water merchants were responsible, but I don't think so. I think it was that darn death power, maybe the people over at the Brotherhood of Steel. Why don't you think it's the water merchants? Because, like I've been telling everyone, they've had a few caravans disappear too. Nothing like what's happening to the Fargo traders, but they are being affected. Why would it happen to the Fargo traders more than any others? Bad luck? I don't know, maybe they're traveling along different routes than the other, than the others. Maybe because they aren't as heavily guarded as the Crimson Caravan, but they might have better cargo than the water traders. Who knows? There doesn't seem to be any clear difference between the three. The water merchants could be lying, or it could be part of their plan to make you believe them. them. Hey, well thanks for the info. I really tell her that I work for the Fargo traders, but maybe that's automatic. Okay, so how much money we're looking at? What do you have? Ooh, there's a knife I want, and you have thousands. Okay, what can I sell you? I have armor, so I could sell the armor. Maybe to use a crowbar for a bit, like Ted Bundy. But I think he's more of a knife guy. Know what I mean? Yeah, I guess let's come over here to this building. Welcome to the library. 
I don't think I've seen you around these parts before. What might you be looking for in the way of knowledge? You know, if you're making a library in the post-apocalypse world, you're probably not that bad of a person. So maybe I should ask her. I'm looking for information on a water chip. Well, in my studies, I've come across some references to such a thing. Actually, I have in my possession a hollow disk that contains a certain amount of information that you might find useful. Can I have the hollow disk? It's just hard to come by in this day and age. I will need to charge you 750 hub bucks for the disk. Now that looks like a worn hollow disk if I've ever seen one. I'll give you 500 for it. You are right, the disk has seen better days. Since that is the case, I accept 500 instead of my original price. Mr. Stapleton takes your money. As I may have explained, you'll need to use this and then access that information through your pip boy. Mr. Stapleton hands you the hollow disk. Okay, well, let's take a look at this then. Use it. Gain 100 experience. Pip boy displays downloading data from disk. You see a vault location disk. What's location? Oh, so it's different things. Statuses and data. Vault locations. Vault locations. B34.29. Vision C. Hello and welcome to the latest edition of the Western United States Vault Location Pamphlet. We hope you enjoy the pamphlet and remember vaults are not just for the un upwardly mobile, but for everyone. Okay, Vault 12 under the sprawling metropolis of Bakersfield lies the technological magnificent Vault 12. Built with every amenity in mind for the prospective vault dweller, Vault 12 was given the Best Vault Suit Award for Attention to Preparedness. Buried for far underground, the protection that vault dwellers will receive will be unprecedented. Much like all the other vaults, Vault 12 has been fitted with the newest in vault water purification systems, able to take even vault even the wastes located in the sewers of Bakersfield. This system is able to deliver over 15,000 gallons of pure, refreshing drinking water every day. But we need to find Bakersfield for this one. Let's see what it has to say about Vault 13. Located in the scenic mountainous area northwest of Vault, of vault 12. Okay, okay, that's good. So southeast should be the location of Vault 12 of Vault 13. Cool. This vault offers an in the supply of pure water to inhabitants. The rumors that the water table in the area could easily be contaminated in the event of nuclear war have been found by the Department of Water and Power to be completely unfounded. In the event that the water in the area were to become tainted, remote even though it may be, Vault 13 has been fitted with a government approved vault water purification system ready to work without significant loss for an output of over 250,000 hours. Vault 15, due east of Vault 13. Construction on this vault has gone extremely smoothly. Much work has, has done to reinforce the walls of the third level of this vault to make sure all future vault dwellers have a more, are more secure in the knowledge that in the event of a major earthquake, the regulatory computers of Vault would contain continue to function. Recent tours of the newly constructed Vault have had many potential Vault dwellers walking away with a new found um, awe of the improvements done to this area, to this already impressive Vault. Okay, so yeah, we have an idea where we should go next to Vault 12. I think it's time to Talk to Bob's Iguana Bits. Iguana Bob. Hi, welcome to Bob's Iguana Bits. Family's eating place. Can I take your order? I think we need to talk about Doc Morbid and some of your secret ingredients. What are you talking about? Your secret ingredients? How fresh does a corpse have to be before it develops a bitter aftertaste? Do you use mutant? Human? Or a mix? Not so loud. I don't need you saying that all over the hub. You know, the police station is just across the street. I really should take a little walk. Wait a minute. 
we've got to find a way to reach a mutual understanding. Fine. What can I get out of that? Let's see. I'm going to ask for 150, not to push my luck. Fine. It's a deal. 150 bucks. Do every five days. I guess I'll see you in five. See you, Guana Bob. Oh, I got a level too, so. I guess I'll go for a little more speech and a little more barter. No, actually, Millie. Yeah, that should be good for now. Oh boy. Can't you leave me alone? I have enough problems on my hands already. Like you're the only one with problems. Listen, freak, I told you. Let me alone in the first place. Now beat it. Will do, my friend. I'm gonna offer some help, but you don't look like you have much cash to offer me. What's the FLC? Lorenzo. Well, if it isn't a potential customer, I am Lorenzo the Magnificent. At your service. I give out loans, only 10% daily interest. Maximum of 10 days to repay. You won't find the more generous lending institution. I was actually hoping you could share some information. Well, I suppose. What do you need to know? What about those missing caravans? Deathclaw. It's got to be the Deathclaw. No one's safe anymore. What about the Deathclaw? Man, some of those stories they say about things are just... Well, they're just something. Decker, do I know her? What about the local police? They're great guys. It's true we have the occasional misunderstanding, but I think they're they're a credit to their species, Soto Volse. Whatever one that is. But it sounds he's not really that friendly with the police. Tell me about yourself. I'm just a respectable businessman. That's all. We Giovannis have been respectable businessmen since days before the Holocaust. Now that's traditional. So is he referring to the Holocaust as a nuclear war? Or is he like saying like the Holocaust, World War II? So is, are you a Nazi? Is that what you're saying? What's your idea of respectable? You don't show us respect, you get hurt. How much more respectability can a man ask for? Sure. Where's the person find work around here? They should try Mr. Decker. Exciting work at great prices. The best in town. And he's just across the street. You can't get better convenience than that. What about... The children of the cathedral? I can't say I'm too impressed. I run an honest, respectable business and they accuse me of being a thief. The nerve of those people. They think... A vow of poverty gives them the right to judge me. Our poverty? I'll bet your leader, this Morpheus character, he's not broke, no sir. I bet that over in the boneyard, he's just living it up. Boneyard? What can you tell me about the boneyard? Tell me about Decker. He's a great guy, good source of jobs to pay off at loans. Of him I sent you, you might get a bonus. Bonus? What do you mean? Well, maybe not a bonus, but he's a great guy. Trust me on that one. See you later, Lorenzo. I think the goal right now is to maybe take a peek in the Maltese Falcon, see if the guy here has some jobs. Hey, what do what you want, man? So what you doing in the hub? Looking for something that I need? Well, we got Oh, uh, we all got needs. I might be able to help with you with some of that. So what sort of needs you got? Needs, huh? I understand needs, but what might you know about satiating those needs? Stuff for needs, huh? Well, I know the guy over in Old Town that can probably fix you up with some stuff like that. But you know what, he needs to know who you are before you show up at his doorstep. How much does the invite cost? Exactly, so I'm thinking only for you, of course, a thousand caps. So you can talk to this guy without him blowing your heads off. Because you like me so much, Lemmy. Why don't you just do it for free? 
as you flex your muscles. Trying to intimidate a poor old Lemmy, huh? Well, it's not afraid of the likes of you. I'll just be seeing you around. Whatever, you peasant. I can't wait to kill you, Lemmy. You see Kane. I've heard of you. You're the one that took out Gizmo over in Junktown. Alien must have paid you a good sum for that job. Are you here for some work, maybe? What's the job and what's the pay? It's not scag work. You'll need to do it quick and clean. The boss will give you details, but it's more money than you'll make in months working for the caravans. But only if you're good enough. We don't take time to do failures, if you know what I mean. Not right now. Let me get back to you. Oh, please do. We'll be holding our breath. Wow. Everyone's such an asshole in this town. Let's go talk to the Crimson Caravan, see what they got to say. Maybe look for some work. Caravan Guard. And I guess this is Dimitri. Hey there. How you doing? My name's Dimitri. Dimitri Gramora. Head of the best damn caravan in the wastes. Are you looking for a job? You look pretty strong. Yeah, so? That's just what we're looking for. You like the thrill and excitement of battle, don't you? Bullets flying everywhere, whipping by your head, blowing your enemies into seeing the fear in their eyes. Ah, that's the life you look like. The kind of person that could serve us well. And we pay well for, well, oh yes, we do. We've just had a few openings if you're interested, but of course, you are, right? What do you know about the missing caravans? Not much. I've only lost two. I really have no idea why they're hitting the Fargo traders more than anyone else. Any suspicions? Whoever is doing this has got to have one hell of a raiding party. Our caravans are well armed and you would think that someone that have gotten away by now. They don't leave a trace. So how should the job pay? We pay 600 hub bucks a job, that's each way. Hell, people say we take all the dangerous routes. But I say they're the most exciting. You need a little excitement in your life? Am I right? Of course I am. I'll, I'll be back, bub. Bub, what the hell are you talking about? Well, no skin off my back. Honestly. From what I've heard so far, the Crimson Caravan is one of the most dangerous caravans to work for. So I'm going to try to stick to finding out what's happening to these caravans before I work with them. Don't want to run into a death pond and get murdered. Water merchant should be over here somewhere, yeah. Let's head on south to the water merchant's area. Looks like there's a temple here. Oh mercy, holy flame. I guess they're just passed out and walk over them. What do you want? What's this place about? Something called a holy flame. Don't listen to this bullshit. It'll rot your brain. Man, are these people ever stupid? Anything interesting happening in the hub? I hate to admit it, pal. But I've been out of the loop for weeks. You better ask someone else. Okay? Who are you? Sir, you are injured. I can treat you if you wish. I am a healer. I'm not injured. How much? I am a healer, not a money lender. If the girl sees to my needs, so I might see to the needs of others. Now let me see your injury, shall we? No, oh, thanks. Fine. You have something for sell, though. Use some stems. Of course. Cathedral obviously treats you well. You have nothing to sell. Who are you, guard? Why do you disturb Dang. an elder of the cathedral? Interested in your church, and I want some information. Do you have any pamphlets? Continue to mock me, and I will have you thrown out. What? But I'm not mocking you, honest. Then why are you here? What would bring you to the children of the cathedral? I'm a seeker of knowledge. I would like to learn more. Are you a child? 